Hey guys, it's Devin here, your solar car crew chief, here with December's update. I'm currently in the garage at the Watertown High School, and lots of things have been happening with the solar car over the past month. Our build team has been building, getting the frame welded up from our last video, and we plan on having a rolling chassis in our next update that you will see. I'm currently going to go talk to Brayden about what build's been doing. Brayden, can you mind telling me what you guys have been working on in build? Um, so we have started, we started multiple, many weeks ago with tacking the frames individually. So we had them both laid down and now we have them standing up obviously and we have these cross pipes in here to help support it on the bottom and top. And then we've been working on tacking the opposite side of each of them and we're almost finished with that. Um, as you can see, the seat is pretty much mounted in the car. It was at one point, but we're making an actual part for it out of metal, aluminum, and the axle up here is starting to get put oh, together. Um, we drilled these holes and built these, and we have the bushings in it for the kingpins and the spindles. Um, and the next step is getting the back wheel in. Um, yeah, and we just have a mock-up right now, but this is about where it's gonna be in the car. Thank you, Brayden. Can't wait to see the car rolling in the next video. Tying into build, design team has been feeding them progress from their own work. James, what has design team been working on? We have begun the process of ordering shocks, have ordered rear brakes, and have bought beefy front tires. Most of what we have been doing so far has been taking care of design team and making sure that they have all the structural components in place in order to continue on their work. The build team has also, with our help, designed such things as our kingpin, our spindle, and the solid axle in the front. A few of our future goals, along with stuff that we have already currently designed but have not yet built, would be the swing arm for the back of the um, car, the shocks, um, which we are, have ordered and should be in in a week, and the um, crush zone, along with the front swing arm. We are also currently working around the battery box size and have begun designing the actual battery box itself because we did not yet know that until about this week um, how big the back of the car had to be in order to fit said battery box. Thank you, James. Next, we'll be going to Will to talk about electrical. Electrical has made a lot of movement on their side of things as well. Will, what has Electrical been doing over the past month? Well, Devin, we've actually made a lot of progress uh, this month. So first of all, we have actually bought the batteries for our car. We chose the Samsung 30Q 18650 battery cells, and we bought 500 of them. Pretty expensive. Uh, so we're going to use those to power our car so we can actually drive the 1,300 miles. Um, we are also almost done configuring our solar cells, and then we can use those to charge the batteries while we drive. Uh, as a part of that, uh, we've done a lot of research into the lamination process, and we are uh, narrowing down the materials that we are going to use to laminate our panels. Um, for that, we have also decided on several of the MPPT charge controllers that we are going to buy. That's all. Awesome, Will. Thank you. With all the progress that's been happening, marketing has had the work cut out for them. Becca, how's that been going? Uh, it's been going pretty good. It's been a lot of work, but we're getting it done. Um, every LT and Wednesday, um, we have been filming and documenting our team's progress. It's been a lot, especially with the car being welded together, but we're doing it. Um, on the topic of the website, of uploading to the website, um, we've been doing quite a lot with it. We've been reaching into like the niche corners of it and updating it. Um, in other exciting marketing news, uh, we the logos are finished. That's fun. Um, for our car and for the team, you saw them earlier in the video. Um, we In the past week, we've been working on three YouTube videos at the same time. It's been quite a lot. It's been this one. Um, our, our independent filmer, Ryder, has been working on a video. 
And then also Candy Blitz. Uh, if you don't know what Candy Blitz is, it's a uh, one-day fundraiser where uh, our students go out uh, to the community around Watertown and just go to door, door to door selling uh, chocolate chips in bags. And we got uh, class and quality chocolates to donate all of those chocolate chips, so that was pretty cool. And then we filmed a baking video at Watertown TV uh, with a representative from CQC. Turned out really well, and you guys should be able to see that already. It should be posted right now. It's not yet, but as soon as this comes out, it will be posted. Um, it's been a large focus. Uh, marketing also made all the stickers for it, so that was pretty cool. We made them on our vinyl printer. Lots of graphic design into it, um, but it was a blast. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. Cool. Thank you, Becca. Watertown Skills USA would like to recognize our November sponsors. It is because of businesses like these that our members are able to bring projects like the solar car to reality. Metal Tech, Nicholson Manufacturing, CL&D Packaging, Mance Automation Incorporated, Richter Heating and Air Conditioning, Interpack, Baker Rollman, The Smith Family, Wellness Chiropractic, Top Notch Awards, Schaefer Soft Water, and Amel's Pizza. If your business is interested in sponsoring this year's Watertown Solar Car Team, reach out today or download the sponsorship form on the website.